Our affirmation today is, I am serene right now. Uh, we want to remember to add that uh, time frame when we do use our affirmations, because if we don't add a time frame to it, then it's possibly way out there, and we need that right now, especially something like serenity in our daily lives to help us through. This week in our midweek class, we finished As a Man Thinketh, and the last section was about serenity, and I wanted to expand on that because it's a very important element of our daily lives. Uh, as we go through our lives, we can a lot of times think of ourselves in terms of a jigsaw puzzle, very fractured. We have our, our jobs, we have our hobbies, we have our families, we have our friends. I, in addition to that, we have our past, and we have our future hopes, we have our physical condition, we have our mental condition. A lot of times we can look at all of these things and think, oh, my life is so fragmented, there's all these various things going on, and serenity at the middle can help pull all that together and make your life whole and complete and the person that you desire to be. Our question this week, and this is something for you to ask yourself, where is my serenity most needed? And there are many, many examples of when we need to use serenity. I think uh, this week I won't pick on our lady in the supermarket who I've been picking on for the last couple months. <laughs> we'll talk about uh, something as simple as driving down the road. We've all come upon a situation that we've been very frustrated. The, the left turn signal's on and they turn right or vice versa or people just decide to stop for no reason. And uh, it seems like that whole road rage thing is uh, quite possibly something that all of us can inherit because it can be very frustrating and it's very difficult to just sit there and say, well, this too shall pass. And, and the reality is that five minutes isn't really going to make that much of a difference. It just seems like it to you at that moment when you're sitting behind that wheel or behind the person who's doing something kind of silly and, and challenging to you at that moment in life. Being serene in a situation is not acquiescing your point of view. You can still have to reprimand your uh, employee or get reprimanded by your boss. But if you are serene in dealing with that, of course, that's going to go a long way to making you happier, diffusing the situation, not making it so volatile and upsetting, because that's where most of our upset comes from. However, the serenity is such a benefit, not only to you, but also, as I've been speaking a lot about lately, it is what helps us be the example of our teachings to how to live with other people. And the serenity can be one of the most difficult things to actually live on a daily basis, especially dealing with family members or dealing with coworkers or just other people who frustrate or upset us. Uh, a lot of times it can be a very easy to get to a point where we raise our voice and let our emotions get the best of us, whether it's uh, with a spouse or a child, uh, a boss, uh, an employee, all of these things can have their moments where serenity isn't necessarily the first thing we reach to. But that serenity will not only help keep you calm and centered, but it's also going to let you be an example in that situation. Somebody was saying something to me earlier today just about that, that if serenity was more a part of everybody's life and dealing with each other, the world would be such a better place because we wouldn't have these volatile outbursts or the anger and the upset. And then that, of course, is going to upset whoever we're interacting with and those are hurt feelings that people walk away with and sometimes they don't let go of them for 30 years and it was really just a spur of the moment thing. So by having your serenity, that keeps you calm, it diffuses situations and you get to live the example of our teachings here. So that's a great tool to have with you when you are in a situation where serenity may not be your first emotion to try to grasp onto these affirmations and know that divine love is with you and uh, is doing its perfect work right now. So the good news is we all have the tools. We have our affirmations that we can call on when we get into a situation where we worry that serenity isn't going to be the first place we go. We have our faith, we have our teachings, and at the core of everything, we have God. We have God, which is love and light, with us and within us at all times. So serenity is with us and within us at all times. So as you're going through this week, ask yourself, where is my serenity most needed? At what time should I most have these affirmations that are going to help me become centered and not be so fragmented and pull everything together and allow God and that serenity to be the center of my life. So remember that as you're going through your week. I am serene right now. So uh, 
if somebody cuts you off in traffic or you get uh, upset with a, a spouse, before you say that first word, say to yourself, I am serene right now. And that will definitely take you further to living a life of example. Thank you.